Factor 12p to the fourth plus 10p to the third minus 36p to the squared minus 30p. Always look for a greatest common factor. Do they all have p? Yeah, they all have at least p to the first power. How about the other numbers? 12 and 10, 36 and 30, they're all even. So two goes into all those. 2p times what would give us 12p to the fourth? 2 times 6 is 12. P times P to the third would give us P to the fourth. Two times five is 10. P times P squared would be P to the third. Minus, let's see, two times 18 gives us 36. And P times P would give us P to the second power. Another minus, two times what gives us 30? 15. And We've already got P. We don't need any more P. What are you, a, a toilet? <laughs> if you scream out banana right now, I'll give you a plant dollar. If you're the first person. If you're the second person, no dice. Um, so the 2P, or not 2P, <laughs> that can just hang out until we're, until we're all done. You hang out until later. We'll pick you up later. Now let's work on the inside. So we got four terms. Let's do a little split down the middle here. And we'll factor each side. 6p to the third plus 5p to the second. 6 and 5, just one goes into those. But they both have p squared. So p squared times 6p would give us 6p to the third. And p squared times 5 would give us 5p squared. Now remember that. We can just move that right over here, 6p plus 5. Heck, we can even put it in part of our answer, 6p plus 5. But what do we have to kick out? 6 times what would give us negative 18? Negative 3. Is negative 3 times 6p negative 18p? Is negative 3 times positive 5 negative 15? So the other set of parentheses then would be p squared minus 3. So we have the 2p, greatest common factor. We got the p squared minus 3 here. And then the 6p plus 5 was from the two sets of parentheses.